So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are in the conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much a dress code. This is the gladiatorial arena that is the Stadio Olimpico, for so long the symbol of Rome's grand sporting history. And we rise now for the Spanish national anthem. Well, that was impressive. Match that. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. the way Jim who do you pick out as the telling individual today David De Gea he's one of the all-time great shot stoppers Peter his positioning is superb and he always seems to pick the perfect moment to rush off his line what I really like about him is the way he keeps his frame big to make life as difficult as possible for strikers and the manager will be hoping for a few more clean sheets now that he's in the team yeah I'd have picked him too no doubt the fans feel much the same way. Rebic. Chance! Goal! Croatia! And it's Croatia who take the lead! And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Spain didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Thiago. Tries to get it forward quickly. Perisic gets up to head it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. He simply mistimed the header and it was as if he knew it wasn't going to work out. Spain are experts at this stylish possession-based game. Well, we're talking tiki-taka, a, a lot of short, crisp passing, and, and once the ball is lost, they quickly try to win it back. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Rebic. Heads it! Good ball kindly. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay.
Saul. Thiago. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1 0. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Lovren. Modric. Half an hour played now. Vlasic drives it forward. Rebic. And the shot! of the highest order and already they're looking to run away with it the keeper deserves some sympathy there he may not have seen that until too late <laughs> things starting to look very comfortable the turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Thiago. Vlasic. Hoists it forward. Gaia. Jose Gaia switches it towards the other side. Rebic. Vlasic. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Isco. He certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. It's got through to him. Well played, he saw that coming. And the half-time whistle goes. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why do they from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Croatia in control at half time, 2 0. The action has already resumed here. No changes at the interval from either side. Isco. There are a few waiting for it. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. Rebic, big chuck, Rebic! Well, I think when you're in that situation, all you can do is, is tip your hat to the keeper, because that was fantastic. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, they're, they're... Jose Gaia with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. <laughs> it's Terrasic! Oh, that is rather wayward. Thiago. Well, the moans and groans from the stands now are very audible. Gaia. Pablo Sarabia. Kovacic gets it back. Breaks on here. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Morata! Oh, denied brilliantly! Morata really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Well, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. And it's Perisic. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Gaia. And it's played forward. 
Just brushed off the ball there. Rebic. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. And it's Isco. Vlasic. Kovacic plays it out to the wing. Rebic. Oh, needed a better pass there. Well positioned to make that interception. And it's Isco. Rebic. Vlasic. Rebic. And that's that. Croatia have won it. As much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. So what do you take away from it, Aldrin? Croatia kept such a, a high defensive line and squeezed.